Hello! Welcome to Wednesdays with Whitney, and I'm Whitney, and this is Andrea Metzler of Art Terrarium, and we are on location today. Yeah, welcome. <laughs> Thank you for having me Absolutely. here. I mean, I'm here quite a bit because I'm kind of obsessed, but like we're officially here today. So, Miss Andrea, yes. um, we met quite a while back. Yeah. Probably a couple years ago now? Yeah, I think so. At the Botanical Gardens, which makes a whole lot of sense yeah. given where we currently <laughs> yeah. are. Yeah. So what were you doing at the Botanical Gardens at I that time? I was working part-time as an events liaison at the Botanical Gardens. So I saw you a lot yeah. photographing events. Yeah, because <laughs> I'm there all the time and you at that point were there all the time. Yeah. So why was the Botanical Gardens the perfect fit for you at that point? Yeah, so I have always loved events um, and then I love house plants and plants in general. So <laughs> when I saw that there was a position for uh, events liaison at the Botanical Garden, it was like the best of both worlds. So I had to do Need it. Need that, yeah. absolutely. And just like being, I think being surrounded by plants, I'm sure that yeah. this is just a philosophy that we can both agree on, like just makes life a little better. Yeah, Maybe absolutely. even substantially better. Yeah, especially in the winter time, being in the Botanical Garden is amazing. So that was a good and you just like spot. breathe in and you're yeah. like, I feel healthier yeah. Yeah. right yeah. now. You probably feel the same way now. Yeah, it feels you're awesome in here. It's your own yeah. paradise. Yeah. It's yeah. very oxygenated. Oxy Oxy oxygenated. <laughs> I did that. I did it really well. Um, so tell me, yes. why house plants? Yeah. <laughs> so good question. So I actually, I moved back to Des Moines about four years ago. Welcome back. And thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, I moved into an apartment and my friends gave me some house plants as a housewarming mm -hmm. gift. It's great. And it's like, that's such a great gift yeah. because it'll actually live. You know, yeah. if you take care of it, <laughs> yeah. um, I'm still learning. Yeah. Um, yeah. And <laughs> I just, for a while. Yeah, I love the way it just made my apartment feel so much cozier and so yeah. much more homey. Um, and so, yeah, I fell in love just watching him grow. Um, and then I was actually traveling to a couple different cities, Chicago and Portland, and there are similar houseplant shops there. And when I would walk into those shops, it was just like, oh my gosh, this, this is, is where amazing. I should be. Yeah. And we just don't, I mean, we have... What's the niche in the market that you were like, it's not here? Yeah. Because I think we have landscaping businesses, we have the, you know, There's we like have garden the centers. Owners. Yes. Um, yeah, but there was nothing that was specifically selling just house plants yeah. and selling house plants with unique planters. Yeah. And then also uh, nothing with our potting bar where you can actually get expert advice on a plant and have it potted right here and you take it home and it's yeah. ready to go. Well, and I think that that's something that I've really appreciated throughout. We're working, I'll tell you a little bit about this later, but we're working to put house plants in my house and I do not have a green thumb. I tend to kill things. So I had a lot of anxiety about this, but I knew that I wanted to be surrounded by plants. And through the whole process, you've been like, okay, so this will work and this won't and this is how you take care of it. And I'm like, knowledge is power, guys. Yeah. And like you take the time to tell people yeah. about that. Yeah, and it's yeah, it's been so interesting because people will come in here and they think that they can't take care of house plants, but once they learn just like a couple little yeah. tips, all of a sudden it's like, oh yeah, okay, yeah. I can do These this. These will live. Yeah. They're easier than yeah. dogs. I mean, bit. dogs kind of live too. Yeah. <laughs> but the plants are, yeah. plants are yeah. the easy part. Yeah. Um, so, what was Art Terrarium's first appearance in Des Moines? Yeah, so we actually, two summers ago during Art Week Des Moines, we decided to do a little pop up in the Skywalk. Um, over by the Kaleidoscope Mall. Um, there was a lot of empty retail space over there and so we just kind of had this vision to do um, art pop-ups yeah. and then we had this little space that was in the Skywalk Bridge over 6th, uh, 6th Avenue. Um, it was all glass walls, this little retail space and so we filled that with a bunch of local art and then uh, Harvey's Greenhouse uh, actually brought down a bunch of plants yep. because I had this idea of bringing art and plants together. Mixing just it all together. Yeah, complement <laughs> each other so well. Um, and it was awesome. It was just a two-day pop-up and it was really successful. And What was the feedback there? What did people say that had been missing that you were providing? Yeah, I think so the little shop that we had, oh, and that's where the name Arturium came from. Oh, really? Because it was all glass walls and it was filled with art. And we were like, it's like a terrarium filled with art. That's an perfect. Art terrarium. <laughs> and then we just stuck with that name. Well, when um, something, you like say something out loud and you're like, oh, that's going to work. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, we had, so in that little shop, we just told artists, hey, if you have art that's like hanging out in your basement and, you know, from past art shows, bring it into this little shop that we're going to do and we'll put it all on display and we'll sell it for you. And I think that was um, just kind of like a really unique idea because you go, there's a lot of places, you know, that do like shows and, of course. you know, new art, but what do you do with all that art afterwards? And like, yeah. where can you find that art if you're looking for art? Well, and I think that's the hard part, speaking as someone who used to do a lot of, uh, you know, creative stuff and I used to frame everything and put it out in the world and then like, well, when it doesn't sell, where, where does it go? Right. It's not new anymore and you're yeah. like, oh. 
And I think it's amazing that you gave people that opportunity. Yeah. And you're still doing that in this space. You have frequent art shows here. Yeah, we do. Can you tell yeah. me about the events that take yeah, place here? Yeah, absolutely. So about every uh, couple, like every about two months, we do a new art show. And so we work with mostly local artists. Um, and we have a lot of blank walls in here. So we yeah. just fill those with art. And we do a big art opening uh, with music and, and food and drinks. And yeah, bringing so the whole community Yeah, still in. trying to so yeah, support the local art scene. I love that. For sure. Um, so why, so you did the pop-up. did the pop-up. And then this happened. Yeah. So How we, did this happen? Yeah. <laughs> so we did the pop-up and then we loved it so much that we wanted to do more pop-ups. Yeah. So we were kind of looking around for, you know, just unique spaces to do that, like empty retail spaces or just like empty spaces anywhere downtown. Um, and then Nicole from Preservation actually told us about this lady named Lindsay. This lady named Lindsay. Lindsay. Hey, Lindsay. Lindsay. <laughs> <laughs> Who had this little hair salon tucked yeah. back in this building and yeah. she was looking um, to move some tenants into to what was going to be a big empty space. Yeah. Um, so we went and chatted with her, and it was in this you know kind of area of town. It was a little bit quiet, yeah. but it had this, these big amazing windows, and we just really saw you know like oh man, all the potential. This, yeah, all the potential. Well, and I think it's so. Um, if you don't know where we are, we're in the 11 Cherry Building. Literally, it's on 11th and Cherry. <laughs> so we're in close proximity to the Des Moines Social Club, to um, Western Salvage. Western Salvage. Thank you. And where my studio used to be, I have transitioned, but I used to be within walking distance of this beautiful place. Um, and so this area is actually starting to come back. Yeah. It's kind of like the yeah. the next frontier of Des Moines, and you yeah. guys are at the beginning of yeah, it. Definitely. But you were telling me that it's actually been kind of nice that you're slightly off the beaten path. Yeah, actually, yeah. So we have, there, it's kind of a quiet street. So you come here during the week and parking is super easy, Found which is nice. Immediately. We have the nationwide <laughs> parking garage. It's yeah. just a block away and that's free after 6 p.m. and yeah. on weekends. So mm -hmm. um, that's been really nice. And we, you know, at first we were like, okay, is this going to work being a little bit on a quiet street? But we went into this knowing that we were going to create a space that was going to be gorgeous and yes. that people were going to walk in and want to come back to even if they you know had to drive yeah. um and yeah and it's been working and events has been a big thing too we yeah. have been doing a lot of events in the space because that's what i love doing events um and then also just engaging with um we had like the, the downtown neighborhood association and fem city and a lot of different organizations just opening our space to yeah. to those groups and bringing them in which has been huge for us well and i think that it's just amazing to create a community space that's also retail and having that ability and that forethought um i've been talking to a lot of business owners about intentionally building a business and um, something that we talked about was that this was never this was always the intention to have this be your full-time job so can you tell me some of the decisions you made in order yeah. for that to be a reality because this yeah. is all you do every day now yeah, yeah. which is incredible and amazing and like kind of you're living the dream which is <laughs> business owners we know that there are so many sides to a dream, but yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still a beautiful, beautiful reality. Yeah, yeah. So I I knew going into it that I really wanted to have this eventually be full time, and I was actually working over at Gravitate, which is a co-working space, um, and I was doing that part time, and then here part time, and just really trying to work towards uh, making this place um, just successful enough that we could be here full time. And events was a huge part of that. I yeah. I knew that I wanted to do a lot of workshops because the space just with plants, there's a lot of things, fun oh, things yeah. you can do, just teaching people and then also doing a lot of creative things with planters and designing with air plants. Um, and then we actually have a really cool um, space in the back that's a community space here that Lindsay yeah, did yeah. an amazing job of designing. And so we've been able to utilize that for, awesome. we've had like some low key bands play, we've done some arch pop-ups down there. So it's just been amazing having this um, unique space to bring people in. And then also with uh, Instagram has been a huge uh, hey, marketing Instagram. tool for us. Yeah. <laughs> Um, just you know, making sure that we're getting good pictures on there and really drawing, drawing an interest and in getting people in the shop. I love that. So. Well, you have great light for it, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So we're gonna go on a little tour of the shop now, um, and Andrea, you can just tell us about what's in here, what we're looking at, what you can expect, and all right. So here we are. Yeah. We'll, we'll open it up. Should we go over to the potty bar? Yeah. Let's go okay. Over to the potty bar. I will turn this puppy. All right, here we go. So, yeah, so we have the potty bar has been, this part of the office is just like a little a little table in the corner by the checkout counter, but people loved it so much yeah. that we decided let's um, let's make it kind of the focal point of the shop. Let's go all the way. So, yeah, so we had uh, Tia Rotemeyer and Anna Frederick painted this amazing sign for us. So, local love, artists. Yeah, local artists. Um, so, yeah, this is a station where if you come in, if you want to make it your own terrarium, you can do that. If you see a plant and a planter and you just want to get it potted up, you can do 
that, which is great because then you're not buying. So I find myself like buying like bags of dirt and then I'm like, well, I only need it for one yeah. plant. Yeah. And that's just irritating. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. It's all here. Yeah. And we can, we will absolutely help you with it. We can, you know, do it for you if you want us to. So we won't leave you alone. We'll, we'll walk <laughs> you through the steps. Uh, make sure it's getting planted well. Um, and yeah, so over, yeah, this is basically the potting bar area. And then we have planters kind of around the edges of the shop. Yeah. So can we, we show these off? These are gorgeous. Yeah. So where are you sourcing a lot of these? Yeah, so planters. like this planter is actually made by um, a guy out in Seattle. So these awesome. we found um, through Etsy wholesale, so handmade. Um, this is a company Beautiful. out of Brooklyn, Group this Partner. So these fun. are yeah, handmade in the United States. Um, this is a company called uh, New Made LA. They're out of LA. Um, they make those in LA. Um, this is an artist in... Uh, Massachusetts, I believe, Horizon uh, Line Ceramics. Look at how cute so, that is. Yeah, so we definitely have a lot of really unique handmade um, planters. But then we also have, you know, just the basic terracotta if you just want yeah. something simple. Yeah. We have our eco forms, which are lightweight and um, a little on the, the cheaper side, but they're uh, biodegradable, so eco-friendly. So yeah, a lot of cool options yeah. for Planters. So can you show me some of your favorite plants? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So the hot plant, I have to show you the hot plant I want to see the hot of plant. the moment, the fiddle leaf fig. Oh, Everybody yes, yes, wants yes. the fiddle leaf fig. I see those in all of the cool yeah. people's photos. <laughs> yeah. I probably need to get one of those because it's in the cool people's yeah, photos. The, they're always, yeah, those are like the, the, the in thing right now. Mm -hmm. Now why are they the in thing? Tell me about I, this. I think it's just the, the, like these leaves are just incredible. Yeah, um, they're they, really beautiful. They just are super beautiful, and people, yeah. they just look awesome in photos. Yeah, <laughs> just, if you have a giant fiddly fig in the corner, yeah. and people will just love it. <laughs> but then, awesome. the one that, so when I was talking about my friend that gave me a house plant, what she gave me was, here, I'll take you over here. She gave me a little uh, pothos, which is this guy. These yeah. are awesome because they are really good at cleaning the air, they're super hardy, they're low light, and they grow really fast. Um, so mine, it was just like a little plant, like about this big, and now I've had it for like three years, and it's vining, probably oh has gosh. like a six foot vine now, and it's like up on a shelf, and it looks so jungly. If you That's want like that urban dream. jungle feel, you gotta get, get some pothos and get them vining all well, over. And something like this is going in my studio, right? Uh, right? I so. Something yes. else? <laughs> Can we visit that one? So, I have the pleasure, I'm, be, I'm moving into my house, it's already done actually, and my studio's moved in, and so Art Terrarium is helping me decorate my entire house with house plants because I know nothing about this. Um, so Shyla's been coming over, Shyla's the plant stylist here, and um, she came over, she saw my space, like she told me like, this is what's gonna live here, and made a whole huge plan. We'll talk about that more in a, a whole nother thing because I'm super excited about it. But let's go on a little yeah. tour of what's happening over here. Uh, so, I went a little uh, vessel happy and got a whole bunch of these to match my house. And then this is, this is one of mine, right? Yeah. yeah. So this guy is going to grow really long. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So they're going to go um, where my TV is, where my viewing TV is, and they're going to grow down um, and hopefully just provide this really awesome, like, jungly atmosphere in my house. And I'm so pumped for them. Awesome. And I love uh, the silver leaves yeah. because uh, my walls are all gray. I think it's going to be oh, perfect. Awesome. So slightly different. For, is this the same variety? Or? Yeah, so they're both pothos. Okay. Um, this is called a silver satin pothos. And then the other one is a uh, golden pothos. I love that. Yeah. Love and that. so like what you can see, Whitney brought in um, a lot of her own planters. And yeah. so that's, you know, we have some here. But if you find one somewhere else that you really love, yeah. totally bring it in. We'll help you find plants for it. Yeah. I love that. Well, um, you are going to get some updates on our continued collaboration because I just got fully moved into my house, so now we can finally start putting plants Yay. in there. I was like, really nothing living should be in here other than me for <laughs> until everything's settled. So we'll keep you updated on that. But Andrea, thank you so yeah, much for having thank me you today. For the shop. And you guys should totally stop in if you need house plants or just want to like breathe really clean air for a while. Um, I would highly recommend jumping in here. Awesome. awesome. Well, thank you. Awesome. Looking forward to yeah, getting your house all green. Yeah, it's going to be it's so be beautiful. Amazing. Awesome. Have a good week, guys. Bye. Bye.